Okay, next up we have Shakti Rajput, and she is like the superstar leader of our grade. She volunteers for everything. She is in leadership. She's been in leadership since freshman year, I think. She's absolutely amazing. And she even won the senior poll for most spirited. So here is Shakti Rajput to <laughs> I am honored to speak here today. For many of us, this may only be the first of many graduations. Regardless of that, let's roll back to 2008 to 2009, when we just graduated high school, eighth grade, more than even fast forwarding. Um, all we could think about was coming into high school, coming into Berkeley High, and we all were very excited. As the years have progressed, we have grown tremendously in one way or another. From freshman year to senior year, each and every one of us has changed in a great way. From freshman year rally day, when we only had two dances, two graduation days this year, Berkeley High will have taught us many things. From the fundamental theorem of calculus to teaching us about the word ratchet, we all know what that means. With our knowledge, we have also had amazing teachers, from Mr. Cologne to Mr. Cologne to even Mr. Carlson. <laughs> Just to name a few. Um, being at such a diverse school has made me very open-minded. Where I'm learning, I also found and made some of the great friends. Isis, whom I knew since seventh grade, and my dear Snoopy, Nina, who I met freshman year, to all of you here. I know that I'll miss every one of you in this room most definitely. Moving on to leadership. Coming from a school where the principal chose who could be on student council to being elected um, by the students was an interesting experience. Leadership had not only helped me get involved in school, but had changed me the most. It helped me gain the courage and the confidence to speak to all of you today. With each flying year, year I climbed the ladder of positions. Each position has given me a different insight on the school. Leadership has helped me realize the different di cultures and diversity, not only at Berkeley High, but in the world. Finally, finally I want to thank my awesome parents for what they've done for me so far. And thank you, APIC, the team leaders, Tenzin, Liz, and Stephanie, for organizing this great event. And on one final note, someone told me that everyone is a freshman twice in their life, once in high school and second in college. So congratulations to the class of 2013 and the future class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that was just, again, really good. <laughs> um, so, next up we're going to have Rashmi doing spoken word. Did you want to introduce it yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. So, I'm um, going to be reading two poems. Um, the first poem is called My Home Across the Sea. And because we're here to celebrate Asian graduation, I thought I would do a poem about my connection to my culture and my home across the sea. My home across the sea smelled of spices and of tea when it came wrapped so neatly in a package from my grandmother to me. It doesn't always come in a cardboard box. It comes in father's luggage buried under his socks. It comes in salty waves that pull me toward the ocean. It comes to me on warm nights and in cities like Colombo, buzzing with commotion. I can see it on my mother's face, and every line her features trace. I can see it on my brother's dark chocolate skin, which holds our roots firmly within. Little pieces of home, brought to me by cherished moments and loved ones, remind me of times spent under the Sri Lankan sun. That was the first one. Um, <laughs> but I think many of you can relate to that, that feeling of having two homes, one which is in your homeland where your roots are from, and one which is here in America, and seeing things in America that remind you of that old home. Um, the second poem that I'm going to read is for our graduating class of 2013. Um, it's called Dear Class of 2013. Some of us have known each other since we were five years old. We have seen each other be timid, and we have seen each other grow bold. Years from now, 
When I reminisce, there are many things that miss. 3.30 p.m., Shattuck Avenue, Rally Day, when the streets are flooded with red and gold. All the promises we have kept and all the secrets we have told. The people who are with us throughout all nighters drinking cup after cup of coffee. Those who helped us wrestle with our demons and surpass our uncertainty. Dear class of 2013, thank you for being loud and wild. Thank you for being troublemakers. Thank you for being unique and intelligent. Thank you for being risk takers. Dear class of 2013, we have so much potential. It's bursting at the seams. So don't be afraid to take chances. Don't be afraid to dream. Um, do you have any other insights? <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. Um, Rocky, right. you um, So next up, we have Hilda Lee on her violin, and she'll be playing Tamarin Chinois by Fritz Chrysler.
thank you so much, Hilda. That was amazing. <laughs> so, um, let's see, some insights. Um, her hands were moving very fast. That was very impressive. Anything else, Patrick? That was definitely some world class music right there. <laughs>